England nil, Scotland nil. Shambolic, absolutely shambolic. Before we go any further, this video is brought to you by One Football, the app that is free to download. The link is in the description where you can keep up to date with everything regarding your team in the tournament. Whether it be England or Scotland or Wales or France or Spain or whoever it is that you're supporting during Euro 2020, you can keep up to date with absolutely everything regarding your team. It has team news, it has updates, it has all the gossip from inside the training camp as well. Very, very good app. Would highly recommend it. The link is in the description to go and download it. Thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go and download the app. You really won't regret it. Let's go. Yes, people, what is going on? Thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. Um, shambolic. A absolutely shambolic. And I, 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 I don't want to rant, but I feel it's the right thing to do because I've seen it so many times with England. You know, we... We don't necessarily always play well, um, but if you grind up the result, then it kind of gets papered over, like it didn't really happen. Well, this did happen, and we were poor. We were absolutely shocking. Um, played better in the first half, kept a lot of the ball, but it's just like what happens with Chelsea. Keep the ball, don't make a difference, you open at the back of the net. I don't know what the stats are off the top of my head, but I generally can't remember us having a shot on target. That's where you've got a problem. It's absolutely abysmal, if you ask me, but look, we've got... We've got a game left to go, of course, against Korea, uh, against the Czech Republic. So it's going to be a decent sort of uh, last kind of game. Obviously, we win, we win the group. They win, they win the group. It's that simple. But in terms of in terms of how we played, I mean, if that's what you're relying on to win a major tournament. You've got, you've got, fucking awful, guys. Exactly. It was absolutely bloody awful. It was absolutely bollocks. Harry Kane's got no legs anymore. Yeah, completely. Fucking Sterling shouldn't have been on the pitch. He's playing people that have played previously on merit and not about people that are on form. should have started. Completely. Completely. And yet it's, it's, it's the fact that it's taken us three. Uh, it was just to keep the peace in the UK. Though. Oh, completely. So completely. At the, the end of the mm. fucking day, it's enough to qualify for. Well, yeah, exactly. But if it, top of the group. yeah, to be fair, that's the only saving grace we've got. But he's taken us three, standing outside the back of a pub. <laughs> taken us three, standing outside the back of a pub to tell you what Southgate should have done. I mean, I don't want to criticise the manager in the tournament. There we are. There's a light for you. I don't want to criticise the manager in the tournament, but you've got to ask the question: Why? Why did he keep staying on the pitch? Why did he keep Kane on the pitch for so long? Because I understand with Kane, I mean, captain, you know, he's proven he scored goals before, but he hasn't done it for England recently. So why keep him on the pitch? At least in this game, if you are playing for a draw, which is, to be honest, what, exactly what it seemed like. And that's what I hate to say. We played for a draw against Scotland. That's how it seemed. <laughs> how are you allowing Kane... Excuse me. How are you allowing Kane to stay on the pitch for 80 odd minutes of a game, but Sterling stays on for longer? Sterling did nothing, and we were all crying out for the same person bring on Jack Grealish, bring on Jack Grealish, bring on Jack Grealish, because he's been one of the most on form players in the Premier League this season. Now, yes, I get he's been injured, and you've probably got to ease him in slowly. That's why we had the bloody warm up games. That's why we've had the warm-up games. It's absolutely shambolic that you've got to, You know, we've all got to sit here and beg, oh, please, for God's sake, please bring on Jack Grealish. Sterling did nothing. And again, the last game, he did nothing. I got crucified for saying he did nothing. He scored, but Calvin Phillips made the goal. What else did he do? There's no reason Rashford couldn't have been in that position or Sancho couldn't have been in that position. He got... He, he gets... He gets unnecessary praise for doing simple things, Sterling. And so does Kane. But Kane in the game drops so deep. And maybe it's because he's still got Spurs ingrained in him. He, if he stays up front, he's a goal threat. And everyone has to think about where he is. When he's dropping deep, you ain't worried. You ain't worried. They've got a back three. They're going to go, do you know what? Yeah, we'll stand away over here, thanks. You pop a shot off. How's that going to win your game of football? When they are literally standing there going, yeah, go on, mate, have a go. To one of the best strikers in the world. Have a go. Go on. Have a go from distance. Because we're well comfortable here. You need people that are going to create. And Sterling ain't going to do it. Foden was doing it. Took him off. Why? Why take him off? Rashford needs space. Wasn't in the game. It wasn't in the game because Scotland were very happy with a nil-nil draw. They went, you know what? Yeah, we'll just take a massive step back. Thanks. Yeah, and we'll just continue to do our thing. It's so obvious. It's so basic. But yet, here we are. Three dickheads outside a pub telling you exactly how it is 
Now, honestly, that's why I'm saying it, it seemed like he was playing for a draw. How are we at home against Scotland? No disrespect to Scotland, putting a good shift and all that stuff. The, the fans, fair play to them, Tartan Army, you know, give credit where it's due. They're still in with a chance of qualifying for this thing. But how are we, the mighty England that could go on and win the thing, taking a nil-nil draw at home against Scotland and playing like that? If you, in the game, if they're absolutely all over you and you go, do you know what, actually, yes, on it. But they weren't all over us. They created more chances. But I think at one point, I don't know what the final stats were, we had about 65, 70% possession. We were keeping the ball all day long. But the same thing happens. You do not win games of football by keeping the ball. You win games of football by putting the ball in the back of the net. And the best chance of the game went to them. We had two chances in the game that I can remember, which was the header from Stones, which was, you know, unfortunate. He timed, his, he timed his jump a little bit wrong. If he times it better, it's in. Back of the net. And Reese James should have hit the target at least. He put it over the bar. Right? I'll say that. Fine. Does anyone else actually remember us having a shot on target? Please put it in the comment section below if you can remember, because I don't remember nothing. This game meant a hell of a lot to the Scots, and they got something out of it. Fair play. But this is major tournament football, and we couldn't even get a shot on target. And if we did, it was one. Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? Apparently, we're meant to be second favourites to win this thing. Italy. They've, they've played two games. They've scored six goals. We're playing against the Czech Republic in the next game that we're all going, oh, yeah, we'll beat them, we'll go through. Well, in this tournament, they scored three. We scored one. And be honest with you, we struggled to score that one. But yet we're all saying it's sunshine and rainbows. Now, I don't want to say, suck the manager and do this and do that. Da, 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 da. But he got it wrong. We aren't going to change it mid-tournament. He got it wrong. You have to learn from this. Next week has to, oh, sorry, uh, Tuesday has to be a win. Tuesday has to be a win. Nothing else I'm taking. I'm not taking anything else. I don't care if five points is going to be enough to win us the group or whatever it works out mathematically. I don't care about that. It has to be a win. That is absolute stonewall margins. But Mount necessarily didn't do anything. I'm a big fan of him, but I could have very easily seen if he'd have come off. Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips, did they both need to stay on the pitch? Could you have not thrown Dominic Calvert-Lewin on? Rashford came on when there was no space in the game, but yet his main attribute is his pace running into space why it's very obvious i'm not gonna lie this sounds this sounds very very harsh but even people playing fifa even kids playing fifa will realize that there's no point of playing someone quick if the opposition are sitting very very deep because you're not going to get anywhere you're not going to play counter-attacking football because they don't want to be there and every time we had a chance to play a counter-attacking football from when they did have a set piece and we won the ball slowed it down we slowed it down. Billy Gilmore. I'm a big fan of Billy Gilmore. Chelsea fan. Of course I would be. Good player. But for the first hour, was he struggling? The first, definitely the first half? Yeah, he was. And what was he struggling with? The speed. The speed of the game. And yet every time we got the ball, we slowed it down. We slowed it down. Now, look. Calvin Phillips and Declan Rice the other day were brilliant as a pair. But if it ain't working, bring one of them off. Bring one of them off. I would have started with it. I agree. I would have started with it. But if it ain't working, bring one of them off. Give us the best chance to win the game. If we can't do that, what's the point? And, 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 and what, honestly, it is that clean cut. We didn't deserve anything from the game. The Scots did. Fair play to them. Did we deserve... <laughs> we, we didn't, I don't even think we deserved the point. I really don't even think we deserved the point. I'm, I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. Now, I have done a vlog for this, of course, but the vlog is nothing happens. So, that'll be out tomorrow. But, just, if, if we think we're going to win a tournament like this, and I know we've got to build momentum, but if we think we're going to win a tournament like this, we've got to stop playing these people that have done it before for England. Carl Walker played the first game, and so did Trippier. Both of them were crap. They got dropped. And all of a sudden, the fullbacks we had actually played a little bit better today. Stain, uh, Sterling and Kane. They ain't going to get dropped because they're untouchable. They should be. Play Jack Grealish, Phil Foden, Mason Mount. And if it don't work, hey, you gave it a go. You gave it a go in the group where you can still qualify. Because apparently now four points is going to be enough to get you through. Whether it's first, second or third. If you believe you can win it, you can go and beat anyone. So it doesn't make a difference. Play those front three. Play young, energetic front threes. With Harry Kane up front, I'll agree with that. It ain't going right. 